Bhaskar Avani. The latest release of Jyoti Studio 3 is release 7. Just came out today, people are just installing it now. I'm very proud of it. It's a culmination of a lot of work. And I think at this release level, I've achieved a point where Jyoti Studio is quite stable, much more user friendly, easy to use, and funner to use. It's more clear, it's laid out better. Things go a little smoother. So you might want to give it a try now. There's demos, they can be downloaded and ordered and sent to people. And it can be activated through email, very, very easy. We take all types of credit cards. And now I'm going to show you some of Jyoti Studio 3, release 7. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you some new features of JS3 Release 7. First of all, you see right here on the main chart list, the uh, button area has a black background, makes it a little easier to see. Some of the icons have changed, buttons are bigger, and this one here says JS3. If I click on that, then you get the manual. Very important. So it comes up with the manual, and we can scroll through the pages, we can click on the various titles and go straight to different parts of the manual and this is a PDF on the Mac it's in preview which I'm quitting on Windows it will open your Acrobat reader so the manual is easily accessible right here right now I'm gonna highlight my name and I'm going to click transits and that opens a transits window which you can see here I'm gonna pan around Here's the button bar across the top of the window. And then here's going down the center of the window. My chart is on the inner wheel. The current transits are on the outer wheel. And it comes up automatically for right now. So right now, check this out. You've got Venus right over my natal Jupiter. And transiting Jupiter right over my natal Saturn. And Saturn happens to be at that degree over here, trining that. So there's a lot of power at the 25th degree in the fire trines right now, and my Venus happens to live there natally. So in this way, you can see things in the chart. Now, if I pull down this little menu right here, these are other already saved chart types. So for example, if I go to Spaced Out, so now the window has changed to this window. Looks very different. Now I can pull that menu down again, and like go to science, it says here. And the window turns into this very complex, awesome transit chart that has three rings. And it has different lines in each ring for different cusps. Either middle, beginning, or sign beginnings, for example. You can choose all these differently on each ring. And as you can see here, we have different types of glyphs being used. Different colors. You can control all of that with the palette. If I click here... That's palette, and it shows up over here to the right of our window. And in fact, if I move the window, here I'm moving my window, the palette now stays with it. See that? The palette jumps right along with me, which is quite nice. Now also, in this new release, you can stretch the palette window. Watch this. When I let go, it completely resizes itself. Now it's much larger. So... Um, Depending on your vision capabilities, you can make the palette small or large and have it the way you like. Um, I'm starting to become more sensitive to these issues now, as I need glasses too. Okay, so um, yeah, you can control everything about the chart here on the palette. This stands for the chart. This stands for the window. Colors. Ring 1, 2, 3, and the transit. This controls what current transit is, is held in memory right now in this window uh, to display on the rings. So um, you get to control each ring. So many things about each ring are controlled here with these controls. All right. I'm going to go back over here and watch this. I'm going to pull down to mine 2, whatever that means. Oh, a very small window here. Stretch it out, 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 and it gets bigger. Let's stretch it even more. Okay, and I'm going to click on 2 and stretch it again. Okay, that's not listening to me. Let me do this one. Here we go. All right, now I have a window that has four charts on it, and this belongs to Das Gorvani, it says here at the top. Now I go over to my chart list, 
and I'm going to take Steve Jobs here and I'm going to drag him onto my chart window. Okay, and now it says right here Steve Jobs Rossi chart. So now I've got him on my window. And in fact, now if I get the palette open for this window, or like if I go to a chart, I'm just going to click on this chart and the palette will appear inside the chart here. All right, and uh, here's chart sources. Now look at this. See how it says main chart, current transits, specific transit, Steve Jobs, and other options. See, it now says Steve Jobs because I dragged him onto this window. And the main chart is the guy at the top. That's me up here, Das Goravani, see? But Steve Jobs has been dragged into my window, so now he's also something you can select. And thus you can get our charts going together in one window. And if you have his chart somewhere, like here I've got his Steve Jobs Rossi chart, I can uh, change this to a southern or a wheel or whatever. I can uh, click on it, come over here to the palette, and see various chart styles. Now this is the chart tab here. So these are chart styles. These are saved chart styles that I can apply to this one chart, which is currently selected. So I'm going to select Space North, and it's going to bring in that, the Space Style Northern Chart. Now, if I click down over here, and then I go back up to the palette, I can select a different already saved chart, like Two Ring Specific Transit. Come back down here, and there it is. So I can bring saved chart styles into a window. And once I got a window the way I like it, I can click on the Window tab here, Go to Window Styles and save this, name it, and it'll always come back as your window. And that's how I got these here. These, these are saved window styles right here that I've already made. One of them is for practical, it's called. And it jumps up over here and it makes itself, and here it is. I select the menu again, and I go to the next one. It says for various art charts. And, you know, look at that beauty. He's got different art charts that I pre-made that are in the program that you can select. There's very many pretty chart styles to choose from. And so as I select these already saved you know, um, window styles, pre-saved window styles, they just appear because I've already made them for myself. So you can make chart window styles you like, save those, and then reuse them. And some of them can be just charts like this, or some of them can be as what opens when you open a chart over here. Like when I highlight my chart and I click this screen button here, I get what's called the all-in-one window. That's because it has the chart list down here, the dashes over here, and two charts. Like the original Gauravani Jyotish that people liked. So this is called the all-in-one window. This is a chart window though, so here's that menu again. And this window will mutate immediately into those other ones I just showed you. Like here I go selecting one, and it immediately mutates into that. And this is a real big art chart test window, and it's showing some of the beautiful ones. And so the one window can become other windows. You can open up more than one window for the same person, or you can open up different people. Watch, I'm going to highlight me and Mel Gibson. Then I'm going to right click, the menu drops out, and I'm going to select chart. And it's going to open two because I had two people highlighted. And they're on top of each other here, so I'm just going to drag one over here, and there's the other one. So now there's two charts on the window. And whenever charts are open like this, they're available to each other. So if I'm working over here in this one, and I click on my chart, I can pull down chart source and see it shows Mel Gibson here on my window as a chart source because his window is open, so my window is aware of it. So this way you can really study charts together, you can use it to look at families' charts together.